Hey there friends, Andrea Cox here, holistic wellness coach, intuitive healer. You know, I just got off the phone with one of my health coaching clients and she was saying, Andrea, I have no energy. And oftentimes when my clients first start out with me, they don't have any energy because they're drinking coffee, they're drinking sports drinks, they're waking up to caffeine before hydrating with water. They're doing all kinds of things that aren't putting energy out. So they're not putting energy out to gain energy. And what I'm gonna teach you today is how easy it is to gain energy for free. Doesn't even cost you any money, so stick around. But first, hit that subscribe button. Hey there folks, Andrea Cox here, intuitive healer, holistic wellness coach, here with some things that they don't want you to know. Well, who is they? I'll leave that to your imagination and intuition to figure out. Today, I was headed to the gym and I just made an excellent juice. This particular juice has two Granny Smith apples, one lemon with the rind on, some ginger, a zucchini, and three cucumber. It's one of my favorite juices to juice. And I thought to myself, you know, a lot of my clients complain when they first start out with me about being tired all the time. And energy does not come from scrolling on our phone. It does not come from caffeine. Energy comes from some very specific sources that are mostly free. Yeah, we're going to talk about those sources right now. So source number one. Okay, what is that? What? Did she decide to fly away? Fly me to the moon. Okay, sorry about that. Source number one is prana, the sun. The sun is a source of energy. It is a source of direct energy that we call prana. And what is prana? Prana is the energetic field, the vibration, the frequency that you feel when you have direct sun contact. Now, the second source is through the foods we eat. You've heard me say before, live food, live body. Dead food, dead body. Living foods such as fruits, I'm gonna have these cantaloupe for lunch. I've got two big cantaloupe here. Fruits, vegetables, sprouts are very high in enzymes and those will give you energy. Now, what is something else that gives you energy? Vibration, so singing bowls, sound healing, listening to uplifting music, not, you know, hey, I love gangster rap, but I don't listen to it first thing in the morning, and there's a reason for that. So listening to uplifting music, uh, sound healing meditations, things like that, excellent source of energy. What is another source of energy? Love. They say we need 14 hugs a day. Look, I'm a single woman. I'll go to the barista down the street and hug the cashier. I hug the guy at the gas station. I hug the girl that works at my gym. I hug everyone throughout the day because we need love. Love is a source of energy. Now, last but certainly not least, we need something to believe in. Now that can be believing in your child that they're gonna you know, do good in school. That can be believing in God, higher power, Jesus, source, whatever that looks like to you. For me, my spiritual practice gives me energy. It gives me frequency. It gives me vibration. And that's why I meditate first thing in the morning and first thing in the evening. It is my source of light and love and my reason for living. So we need something to believe in. So some free sources of energy, music, the sun, prana, and our spiritual practice or something to believe in, Jesus, God, higher self. I know that after I have spent a day inside fixing problems online or having to do things on the computer, my energy is drained. So oftentimes I'll go to the gym because I'm expending energy. So when we expend energy out, more energy comes back to us. I feel excellent after a great weightlifting session like I'm about to have right after I drink this juice and shoot this video for all of you. 
You know, my grandma Lagolda had a beautiful articulate saying that she would always say to me in a funny way. Whenever I would stay with her, there was one bedroom and one bath upstairs, one bedroom downstairs. She would always say if I wasn't feeling well or I came downstairs moping, she would go, mwah, 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 mwah. Get back upstairs, come back down with a better attitude, get yourself some breakfast, and grab a broomstick and get to work. She would have me clean, she would have me work in the garden, she would have me play in the yard, in the sunshine. That was her way of me putting energy out like I'm about to go do in a workout or when I clean my house or anything like that to gain more energy. So the next time you feel drained and low energy, and trust me, you guys, I have a lot going on right now that I wouldn't wish on anyone. The next time you feel low on energy, put energy out, expend energy out. It will help you. I'm Andrea Cox. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Subscribe to my free newsletter with almost 59,000 others at andreacox.com. Be well. What a week, man. What a week. <laughs> like, <laughs> with everything I've got going on, I'm like, hey there, folks. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus, Lord, past life, karma, clearing.